Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, bigger picture, no change at all. Today, CPI data release hasn't changed anything. Um, so it's just a quick middle of the day update. I was hoping for a little bit of movement, didn't see anything. So we still have the situation here that since the 15th of June low to the 14th of July high, we had a wave one and we're tracking this ABC structure to the downside. As you know, this might have completed already in our yellow support area. Certainly the break above the descending trend line was a first early signal that things could be turning around but we haven't got the five waves up yet that would need to be that would you know where we would need the evidence you know that would be the evidence we need to see because at the moment it's only a three wave move to the upside so it's just testing our patience again we're going to zoom in in a minute take a look how a five wave move up would look like illustrated in the yellow wave count which would be the bullish breakout scenario in this scenario, the price would have bottomed here in wave two on the 7th of August, which was Monday. But it needs to show us certain things and certain we need to reach in certain levels. It needs to hold support. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute. Now, until then, the white wave count is leading until we see evidence that it uh, changes trend. OK, that price changes trend. Certainly, you know that we have been in the area where price could turn around at any time. That was well known, this area, especially between 1830 and 1780. So in the white wave count, though, unless the yellow count works out. So in the white wave count, we would still look at another low to around about 1780. And don't forget that the yellow support area is the larger jump off point to a rally into the $2,500 region. It can, of course, max the entire box out if it needs to in the current scenario. At the moment, while we have early indication that a low could be in, we have no evidence yet. And analysis is always based on evidence. So let's zoom in to the detailed wave count. Here I have sketched out what we would need to see for price to give us that fifth wave to the upside. So that's exactly what we all need to be watching. We have a wave one up, a wave two down, a wave three up, circle wave three top tier a few days ago, 1875. The wave four down broke a little bit too low, but did not invalidate an um, impulsive structure. Um, and now we could be in this fifth wave up, but very important that we are not breaking below 1849 again. Well, this is the swing low, this wave too low. If we break below it now, that's it. Then we had a move down, which was impulsive and a move up that was corrective in three waves and we would break down now. Yeah. Um, until then, yeah, we can give it a chance and it could now be in this third wave. But this third wave, we're talking about the third wave of the fifth wave. You know, I'm just diving into the weeds here, which is potentially dangerous. But I just want to emphasize to you and show you what needs to happen now and what you need to be watching the let's say the the milestones that it needs to reach if it get gives us a five wave structure higher yeah um then it needs to reach first of all in that third wave here minimum 1869 ideally a bit higher mm -hmm. then we should get a wave four down and the wave five up so from that point of view um it's all going according to plan but this is just purely something we are watching at the moment, okay? This is just simply something we are watching at the moment. And this is not the leading wave count. But it is so important to wait for these five waves because it can at any time break down. It might do that right now. I mean, this is already not an impulse anymore because it's now cutting into the wave one price region. So this is how it can change so quickly on the lower time frames. But I give you the relevant parameters that we all need to be watching okay it can still do it but it needs to get above 1876 as a minimum to form five waves up and then a three wave pullback is needed as a result yeah so there's always there are always three levels of confirmation in elliott wave that we need to observe first level of confirmation that the trend is changing is a five wave move to the upside that we haven't even got that yet. Okay, we haven't even we haven't we haven't even arrived at the first milestone, and ideally that goes to 1876 and above. Then an A B C structure to the downside is the second level of confirmation, and the third wave, uh, the third level of confirmation would be a break above the first five wave move high. So I'm not sure if you need to wait for all three levels of confirmation. If you want to, you can. 
I don't normally, but um, two levels of confirmation are fine because it makes sense because after five waves up, you pretty much have a pretty bad reward to risk ratio, but it gets better after the first three wave pullback. So you get a better reward to risk ratio and you have a second level of confirmation. So this is typically an entry point, a so-called one two setup. That's how it works. Yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.